I'm not really a high-tech guy, which is funny because I do the internet for a living, so I'm not really a low-tech guy either. I like to write in notebooks. Uh, I'll explain more what I, how that helps with YouTube later, um, but there's no like... This is low-tech, and high-tech would be like, I guess, a tablet with a little stylus. There's no mid-tech option. In fact, there's no mid-tech industry. That's not a thing, except it is. This is the Rocket Book. It's like a reusable notebook, supposedly the last notebook you'll ever need sort of thing. Uh, this is gonna be a complete, no, an incomplete review. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Now I picked the small one on purpose because I have a small desk and I didn't want it to take up a lot of space. I wanted it to look nice and neat and tidy, but it's smaller. I mean, the dimensions are on there. They have a bigger one too that's like, you know, like actual notebook size. This is it versus like a regular size notebook, I guess. They have one that's this size, but I got the small one. Uh, if you're not using a notebook for YouTube, you're kind of uh, messing up because that you're, you will probably end up with a lot of raw footage, like just you talking and talking and talking, and then you end up with 30 minutes of you talking about a fucking notebook, and you have to edit that down, and then you end up with 17 minutes of you just saying a bunch of shit. Like, people just wanna, people just wanna see this. It's not as pleasant as I think it should be. It's, uh, this pen is lighter than I kind of thought. I thought I was buying this very fancy affair. It's got kind of a goofy tribal thing. Pilot friction spelled wrong. Uh, writing my initial impression. This is my initial impression. Like I just took it out of the package and wrote on it. I don't like writing in it as much as I like writing in a notebook. What do you write in a notebook for YouTube? You should be using a notebook for YouTube. Um, I write notes in my notebook. I know that's crazy. Like this is a uh, outline of baseball bats for self-defense. This is probably gonna be like a 10 minute video um, and it's about one page. And then this, this probably gets me through like four minutes and then the conversation with Jay or whoever I'm doing the video with kind of fills in the rest. But when I do this, I end up I end up with about 20 minutes of raw footage with which to make a 10 to 12 minute video as opposed to an hour of raw footage. And it's just, it's just easier. It just flows. Like you should be writing down what you're going to do. And it's just an outline, not a script. Um, I write like video ideas, like upcoming video ideas. I would write a page on that. Now it says, oh, the whole, uh, the whole point is this is supposed to be uh, reusable. Erase. Dampen part of the included microfiber towel with water and wipe the page. It doesn't, they feel kind of like paper. These feel more like paper. So I'm like, oh, look at that. That's neat. Let me in this thing. Uh, water. It's got, got their little logo on it. This is pretty nice. I just put it on the corner. It feels weird. It feels weird to wet this because these really do feel like paper. But, uh, Huh. Oh wait, you can still kind of see. You gotta be a little more vigorous than I thought. Like if you just give it a cursory wipe, you can't really see it on first inspection until you look closely. But if you want it gone, gone, you gotta put some elbow grease in there with it. Uh, it just feels weird. Like I use this Olight pen or like a G Pilot G2 style pen on paper to write out my stuff. And it just feels strange to write on this. This feels kind of like paper. Writing on it's not pleasant. Let me actually try to like write actual words. All right, so this isn't so bad. I just was initially put off because it was off-putting. It just felt different. But the more I write, your penmanship is not gonna look great on here. But for note-taking, like if I just am writing like video ideas or shit I gotta do tomorrow, like that sort of thing on here. This is actually kind of neat. And the book itself is snazzy looking. Now, I said I'm not low tech and I'm not exactly high tech, I'm mid tech. This, okay, so what is mid tech? Like this is what I shot YouTube videos on for the longest time, a phone with a little handheld mirror uh, 
stuck on there some kind of way as a viewfinder because I didn't have a camera. That's what I mean by mid-tech. Mid-tech is not really an industry. That's not really a thing. This is mid-tech. So if you're super high tech, you might not like it. And if you're super low tech, it might feel like Ugh, to you. But for me, I think, I think this might be the ticket and it looks nice on the desk. I'm not exactly like a neat person by default. Uh, I'm kind of a messy, I'm kind of a slob. But uh, because I do this stuff now, I try to keep this area clean because I never know when I'm gonna wanna film something. For this channel, the, um, this kinda is a cool look. The notebook looks cool. It looks sort of mid-tech. You know, like it looks like a notebook, but you can kinda tell that something's up with it. Now, because I'm not high tech, it's got all these little uh, little icons and things you can scan with your with your phone, I guess, and like do stuff with the information that's on these pages. Gosh, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll look at that. I guess I'll try to do that. Oh, you can like maybe you can set what each thing is. Let's see if I can wipe it off without the thing. So wiping off, it doesn't smudge off on your hand, I guess. This is the dry part. You can't, okay, so you can't wipe it off with dry at all, but damp, woo, comes right off. That's kind of crazy. This is some high-tech ass paper. Um, I, I like it. I, 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 I will like it. This thing sucks though. This pen feels like shit. Oh wait, what's this? Is this a, what does that do? Is it, oh, is it a, I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what that end does. It doesn't do this. It's not a stylus for a touch screen. So I don't know what that is, but this pen, it has no weight to it. So I need to get, I need to look, I'll look and see if there's, like, there's another one. Because if these are like G2s, I can put them in the tactical pens that we have. Which is great because uh, I could like, you know, write down my plans for the week and then if someone in here gets out of hand, you know, I could Jason Bourne that ass. I like to write stuff down, but I'm not overly sentimental, you know, like I'm not attached to this. I don't need to keep it. So I like the idea that you can erase that. Plus I'm wasteful. I don't like writing on the back of paper. Um, and I don't need to look at these notes ever again. I don't need to know. This is a September flash sale details for an Olight video where I had to make sure that I said like what percentage off everything was for a video we did on their stuff. But this is kind of neat. Uh, I just need a, I want a heavier pen. Why did I get so tan all of a sudden? I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I don't look like that. But I wonder how close that is. To, I don't have a G2 handy. I need to, that's what we'll do next. We'll check it against the G2. Ball eraser replacement. That makes sense. That's an eraser. That's what, um, let's see. I am dumb. And... Uh, let's see, I guess this, no. That's not an eraser for this. Uh, oh, there it goes. Oh, I had to give it time. You're supposed to after you, yeah, so that works. So after you use this thing, that works pretty good. That's actually pretty good. So if you wanna make like, you wouldn't erase a whole page with that, but like as you're writing, I guess that makes sense. You wouldn't want to like, uh, you know, be stuck. Why did I get orange? What happened in here? I'm, I didn't even, I didn't change a setting. Did I accidentally push a button? I'm not mad at it though. I wish I was that color. I'm not that color though. I got, this is the first video I've ever shot with this camera. I'm shooting my very first video ever on uh, that garish white thing. They were out of the black ones. So check this out. That was an inexplicable time jump. It's now like, two weeks later. Um, I've had some time with this and I am not crazy about the way it writes, but it is still the greatest notebook that I've ever had. I'll explain. Like, I am a super disorganized person. I always think I'm gonna be organized with all my various notebooks. I think, oh, I'm gonna write like video ideas in this one and I'll write seminar ideas in this one and I'll write podcast ideas in this one and I'll keep my to-do list in that one. And I am just really, disorganized. I try to keep my shit together. I got this new monitor. I, uh, actually, I got a whole new computer. I got this super high-tech computer, but I'm so mid-tech. Look, I got a monitor. Look what this thing does. It does this. I don't know why. I'm sure I'm supposed to know why, but 
I'm using this brand new Dell thing with this massive monitor to edit on Windows Movie Maker from like 2013. The benefit here, like I said, I'm not crazy about the way it writes, which actually I just figured out. This is a smoother pro pen. Let's see how the what the refills. It takes G2 refills, which look like that. And this takes the friction refill, which looks like that. So let's see if this will go in here. I reviewed these on hard to hurt. This is like a uh oh. This is like a tactical pen for stabbing dudes to death and beating people up with it. Um yeah, so it writes, so I'm probably gonna keep it, keep it in there. Yeah, this is a little heavier. Let's see. Do I like it? It doesn't bite into the paper like a pen bites into paper paper, but it's not quite super slick like a dry erase board. It's somewhere in between. But the benefit is that I can just start writing. You know, I write my outlines for videos, which I'll explain how I do that. I don't, I just write like, I need to remind myself that I need to do a hook and I need to have some sort of call to action and then I need to plug something, another video at some point and I have like those little beats. I always ignore them. I always screw that part up, but you shouldn't. But you don't need to write a script, but this will save you. Not only will this save you time, taking 10 to 20 minutes before you start, before you push record to actually get your ideas down on a thing. I have this new camera and I have a fancy tripod. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying. Uh, you take 10 to 20 minutes before you start recording and that saves you maybe an hour on your actual shoot but it might save you hours on editing because you don't have so much raw footage. I have, I know exactly the things I need to say. If I say extra things that are funny or I'm reminded of things I can but I make sure that I hit all my beats. So now I can just write from the front to the back and when I get to the back and I need to start over. Hopefully by the time I get back to the beginning, I'm done with those ideas. Maybe not, probably not. Maybe I should get a couple more of these. They make ones with bigger ones and ones with calendars. Maybe I could get, but then see that I'm gonna end up in the same problem. But like two, two or three maybe, just if I had three and I kept them stacked nice and neat. Uh, I got a new microphone, I'll review that soon. Um, I got some, you know, you, you know your shit is interesting when like even the FedEx guy like asks, you know, or he can't ask, I think he can't ask, but he was like, you know, everyone was kind of wondering. I'll save that for another time. Having it in a heavier pen like this, this is a stainless steel tactical pen, makes it a lot more pleasant to write with. I like it a little better because it kind of slows the whole thing down and makes it a little more like writing with a normal pen. I like this thing, I like it a lot. Uh, it speaks to me. It fits my needs. I'll put a link down in the description below. You can go check it out on Amazon. They're not very expensive for how much utility you get out of them. Uh, it's mid-tech. That's a thing. That's a thing that we're saying now.